Hi kids! At the end of this lesson, you will be able to use the properties of materials whether they are useful or harmful. Today, we are going to understand the physical and chemical properties of matter. Matter refers to all the objects and materials around us. In studying its different kinds, we usually observe and compare it to one material to another. For example, when we describe the difference between a paper and rock, we usually look for characteristics that are not similar in the two objects being described. These characteristics that make matter distinct from one another is called properties. The properties of matter can be classified as physical properties or chemical properties. Now, let's talk about first about physical properties of matter. The characteristic of a matter that can be readily observed without changing its composition is known as physical property. Some physical properties are specific to each phase of material. For example, matter in liquid form can flow. On the other hand, some solid matters are also known for their hardness. Solid materials have different level of hardness. Some are hard, while others are soft. Gases, on the other hand, can be compressed, and most of them are colorless. This diagram shows the different phase changes. These are freezing, melting, sublimation, deposition, evaporation, and condensation. Now, let's discuss about the different physical properties. Number one is hardness. It is the ability of the material to be rigid and resist pressure that may cause deformation or change in its shape. Hard materials like metal and wood can be used to construct buildings, bridges, and other infrastructures. Not all hard materials are unbreakable, though there are solid materials that when subjected to high stress or pressure, crumble or break easily. This physical property is known as brittleness. Another physical property is flexibility. It is the ability of the material to be bent without breaking. Some plastics and metals exhibit flexibility. Flexible objects like thin metal wires and plastic strings can be used for tying or binding objects and things.
Another physical property is elasticity. It is the ability of a material to be stretched and then return to its original shape after. A rubber band is an example of an elastic material. Conductivity is another physical property. It is the ability of a material to allow heat and electricity pass through it. Metals are good conductors of heat and electricity. Gold can be hammered into flat sheets until the desired shape of jewelry is obtained. This property is called malleability. Silver iron and aluminum are examples of malleable materials. Another physical property is ductility. It is the ability to be drawn into thin wires. Therefore, most of the electrical wirings are made up of metal. Some materials such as paper and cloth can absorb liquid well. These materials exhibit porosity. Porous materials have plenty of spaces inside where liquid can be absorbed. Now, let's move on to the chemical properties of matter. A chemical property is most evident when a certain material chemically reacts with another material. Combustibility and flammability are examples of chemical properties. Combustibility is the ability of a material to burn, while flammability is the ability of a material to ignite or catch fire easily. Combustible and flammable materials need to be disposed of properly because they react readily and easily when exposed to extreme heat. These materials are useful in some ways, but proper handling must be done when using them. Another two chemical properties of matter are biodegradability and non-biodegradability. Some materials can decompose or decay through the actions of bacteria and other organisms. When these materials decompose, their particles return to the soil. The ability of a material to decompose is also known as biodegradability. Examples of biodegradable materials are fruit and vegetable peelings, plant clippings, and dead plants and animals. On the other hand, Non-biodegradable materials take a much longer time to be fully decomposed. Thus, these materials must be reused in another way. Thank you for watching kids. I hope you learned a lot from this video. See you on our next lesson. Bye!